Ooh, what's this? A new batch of kawaii office supplies? First things first, you'll need a notebook and a piece of microfiber cloth. Make stencils like these and use them to cut out details. Fold the halves together and sew the edges together. Turn the whole thing inside out. You can already kind of see where we're going with this. Now glue the microfiber on the cover of the notebook. Hot glue the sewn parts. Ears. Paws. Get some Velcro circles and glue them on like this. Cut out the face shapes from black and white foam paper. Glue them on. Make a case like this with pink fabric. Hide the ink rod of a pen inside. Use rubber bands to secure it. Give your little cat a treat. Naya, my sausage! I'm not sharing! <laughs> okay, you can keep it for now, but be sure to give it back or else. Now you have a stunning and fun notebook. For the next one, we are gonna need a collapsible plastic ball and some white paint. Paint the ball from the inside. Once the paint's dry, get some pom-poms and a hot glue gun. Cover each half of the ball with pom-poms. It should look like a fluffy little globe. See? Next, we'll cut the features out of felt. Glue them to the ball like this. Attach some little pink ears and some little pom-pom paws so your sheep can jump all over your desk. Attach the tail. Your organizer is ready. Open it, fill it with your office supplies and close it right back up. Convenient, fun, and of course, bah! For this craft, you'll need a piece of cardboard and a fine point marker. Follow our lead. Draw a pair of paws and the outline of a cat. Cut them out. Color them in in bright colors. You can pre-draw all the small details with a simple pencil to make the drawings more precise and it will be easier to color that way. The paws are ready. Let's move on to the cat. Draw face and stripes. Color them in. And now make a couple of cuts like this. Attach the paws. Make sure they are attached with glue. Meow, meow. Kitty bookmarks are ready for use. Are we on the same page? Now you'll need a strip of beige felt. Fold it in half and sew around the edge like this. Leave a small hole open. Use it to fill it with batting. Sew it shut. Mark places like these. Now sew the beads where you marked. Get a palette with watercolor and acrylic paint. Paint the box white. Next, cut out pieces like these from foam paper. Glue them to the palette. Two big cute eyes and a wide smile? What a kawaii face! Glue the pads on top of each other like this. Want some cookies with your paint? Mmm, a real cookie sounds great right about now. Ordinary paper clips are so last year. Get some pieces of felt and cut out shapes like these. Sew everything together neatly along the edges and leave a small hole again. Insert a clip into it and sew it shut. Attach the embellishments. Draw a face like this and add a few more details. The clip looks way better this way, doesn't it? Let's make some more. I can't stop. It's just so fun. With clips like these, studying will never be boring again. Okay, now you'll need an empty soda can and some fake fur. Cut out shapes like these from the fur. Stitch a white circle along the edges and make sure to pull everything tight. Fill it with batting. Repeat those steps with black fabric and a few more small details. Glue the small pieces to the large ones. Attach the eyes to the white circle. Paint on some highlights. Color the nose in. Attach some ears. 
cut out a few fur stripes. Wrap the can with them. Glue the head and the tail to the sides. Hem the edges. Cut a hot glue rod into four pieces. Wrap each one in black fur. Attach them to the base. Cut a rectangular hole on top. Close the edges with fur. Make two more bears and do you recognize them? It's the We Bear Bears Bears. Try saying that three times fast. Put them on the shelf and collect whatever you like inside the cans. Organization rules. Now we need another empty can and a box cutter. Cut off the neck. Get some acrylic paint. Paint the can black and white, like this. Use a wide brush to make your life a little easier. Draw the eyes, a beak, and some little feet to make a penguin. When the paint is dry, fill it up with office supplies. It's so spacious! Plus, one glance at this plushy little penguin and you'll be cheered right up! This notebook cover is too plain. We obviously need to trick it out. We'll need a piece of colorful cardboard. Wrap the notebook in it, but leave the ends open. Draw on it like this. Add a few semicircles. Cut everything out. Wrap the edges to make it more tightly bound. Draw more details like these on another piece of cardboard. Cut those out too. Glue them to the cover. Add some more details to the face. Assemble everything. Tongue, nose, eyes. This cover is so great, it even knows how to bark. Cover it with rhinestones and done. This is way better. Taking notes is only fun if you've got a notebook like this. Now you need an eraser. Carefully cover one half of it with sticky paper. Now you need a makeup sponge. Cut out details like these. Hot glue everything together. Ears, paws, and a fat little belly. Use a pen to draw the nose and the eyes. Make it kawaii! Don't forget the tail! Now you have a little bunny hugging your eraser! And you can still use the eraser! But in his spare time, the bunny will gladly keep you company. Okay, now you need foam paper and some plain old kitchen sponges. Carefully cover the sponge with foam paper like this. Make two of them. Get a stack of paper with rounded edges. Sew it. Glue it between the sponges and glue a strap on top. Cut a couple pieces of the foam paper out. You should get a planet like this. See? Draw eyes and a mouth. Decorate it with bright stars. This notepad is out of this world. Compact, stress relieving, and kawaii. Now, get a plastic container with a lid and a paint palette with brown and maroon colors. Paint the walls of the cup. Paint the lid white. Use soft modeling clay to roll into a long piece like this. Glue it to the cover in a spiral. Sprinkle some colorful powder on top. Add a drinking straw. Use a Sharpie to draw a cute face. Emphasize parts of it with paint. When everything dries, the cup will be the perfect container for pencil shavings. When the lid is closed, there's not a trace of trash. It's almost magical! Now for this one, you need a folder and a piece of shiny foam paper. Cut out details like these. Get some magnets. Attach them. Put a piece of foam paper into the folder. Glue the details on top. 
Now, all we have to do is attach the straps with magnets. Hmm, where did I put that? Oh, here it is! The raccoon has it! But he's so shy that he always covers his eyes with his little paws. Last, we are going to take the wheels from a Lego set, some long toothpicks, and a basket. String the wheels on sticks. Set them with hot glue. Get a straw. Cut one side and attach it to the wheels. Glue the wheels to the basket. Cut out a blank from foam paper. Draw a face. Glue it to the basket. The cutest and fastest organizer ever is ready to go. Now you can have an organizer race. Who's in? Did you like our new kawaii life hacks? Let us know which ones you're gonna try in the comments. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and be sure to subscribe if you are new. We have lots of fun at Troom Troom Select, so be sure to hit the bell and never miss out on any of it.